Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our virtual underclassmen awards broadcast. A warm virtual welcome to all of our students and their families. Tonight, we honor the accomplishments of our great Granby Bears here at GMHS, both here in this building and as well for all the, th the wonderful work that they have done even virtually throughout the year. I wanna start by taking this brief opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your hard work and in for so many ways, showing what it means to be a Granby Bear. Whether following your curiosity by stretching your minds or practicing kindness by stretching your hearts, there are simply too many ways to mention when our students have lived up to the things we are most proud of in our mission and our core values. You've persevered through the challenges of researching your little big history projects or solving quadratics, respected the opinions and differences of others in classroom debates, acted with integrity in taking the risk of reciting a poem in front of your peers or by simply sticking up for a friend. You've contributed to help raise thousands of dollars for research and cheered passionately but respectfully for your peers in the den. Thank you as well to all who've contributed your involvement to our many extracurricular clubs, sports, and activities as well, especially amidst the challenges of this most challenging year. Thank you as well to all of our teachers and staff for all that you do to help stretch our minds, hearts, and comfort zones and prepare our students to help make a difference in our world that needs it so very much, one Granby Bear at a time. Congratulations and enjoy the evening. Good evening, my name is Julie Greeny. I'm Assistant Principal and Director of School Counseling at Granby Memorial High School. For the second year in a row, our underclass awards will be presented this evening virtually. Although we can't all be together in person, we appreciate you taking the time to tune in as we honor the accomplishments of Granby Memorial High School classes of 2022, 2023, and 2024, our freshman, sophomore, and junior classes respectively. Our first category this evening will be the Book Awards. The Bay Path College Presidential Book Award is presented to a member of the junior class who demonstrates a commitment to academics, an interest in community service, and is in the top 15% of the junior class. We are pleased this evening to present the award to Alexa Bejic. The Harvard Club Book Award is presented to a member of the junior class who displays excellence in scholarship and high character combined with achievement in other fields. This year, the award goes to Noah Croninger. The Mount Holyoke College Book Award, given by the Hartford Chapter Alumni Association of Mount Holyoke College, recognizes the achievements of a member of the junior class with outstanding academic achievement, demonstrated leadership, qualities, and a commitment to community service. This year, the award goes to Margaret Thrall. The LaSalle University Book Award, is presented to a member of the junior class based on their exceptional work in and out of the classroom. This year, the award is given to Natalie Aaronworth. The Princeton Alumni Association of Connecticut Book Award, given annually to a member of the junior class who's demonstrated a commitment to academic excellence, service to their peers, and service to their community. Our congratulations this evening to Rachel Larson. The St. Michael's College Book Award presented to two members of the junior class who are also members of the National Honor Society and demonstrate a sustained and sincere commitment to the community. This year's recipients are Lauren Bedoric and Jacob Scotto. Congratulations. The Smith College of Hartford Book Award wishes to recognize the achievement of an outstanding junior in the top 10th of her class who exemplifies academic achievement, leadership qualities, and concern for others. This year, the recipient is Amelia Davis. The Wellesley Club Book Award, presented to a female honor student in the junior class who has demonstrated intellectual curiosity excellence in scholarship, and a willingness to be of good service in the school and community. 
Congratulations to Juliet Marzo. And the Yale College Book Award, presented to a member of the junior class who's ranked in the top 15% of the junior class, demonstrates qualities of leadership, teamwork, organizational abilities, and participation in extracurricular activities. Congratulations this year to Pryor Waskin. Our next category this evening is recognizing academic achievement awards under the category of meritorious achievement. Meritorious achievement is awarded to students who demonstrate above average commendable achievement while meeting at least one of our high school's core values, beliefs, and learning expectations of curiosity, perseverance, respect, integrity, and involvement. Chase Alexander, Meritorious Achievement, Grade 9, Mathematics, World Language, and Business. Reynolds Allen, Overall, Grade 10, Academic Performance, Meritorious Achievement. Katarina Anderson, Meritorious Achievement, Grade 11, in Art. William Attenese, Grade 9, Wellness, Meritorious Achievement. Tess Bajic, Grade 10 Science, Meritorious Achievement, and Grade 10 Meritorious Achievement in Family and Consumer Sciences. Aiden Barbie, Grade 9 Meritorious Achievement in Mathematics. Alexis Bean, Grade 10 Meritorious Achievement in Music. Catherine Benoit, Grade 11 Meritorious Achievement in Music. Mia Baffi, Grade 9 Meritorious Achievement in Art. Elijah Brown, Meritorious Achievement, Grade 10 in Social Studies. McKenna Casson, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Wellness. Noah Collin, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in World Language. Christian Cusano, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Music. Lacey Sear, Meritorious Achievement, Grade 11 in Technology. Zola Daly, Grade 11, Overall Academic Performance, Meritorious Achievement. Evelyn Danke, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in World Language. Carly DiMartino, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Technology. Margaret Ellis, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Business. Carolina Gentile, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in Social Studies. Andrew Giuliano, Meritorious Achieve Achievement, Grade 11 in Business. TJ Green, Meritorious Achievement, Grade 11, World Language. Delaney Grimaldi, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Art. Caroline Hall, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in English, in Mathematics, in Technology, and in Social Studies. Kevin Harnois, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Physical Education. India Houghton, Grade 9, Overall Academic Performance, Meritorious Achievement. Taylor Henry, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in English, as well as Social Studies. Let's give a warm congratulations to this first round of Meritorious Achievement. Congratulations. Moving on to the second and final grouping in this category of meritorious achievement. This evening recognizing Kate Hollister, grade 11, overall academic performance, meritorious achievement. Colin Holness, grade 10, technology, meritorious achievement. Victoria Jancic, grade 10, overall academic performance, meritorious achievement. Femka Jansen, grade 10, mathematics, meritorious achievement. Mackenzie Jansky, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in Technology. Natalie Calva, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Family and Consumer Science. Thomas Kennedy, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in Business. Ethan Kaiser, Meritorious Achievement, Grade 10, Family and Consumer Science. Molly Laird, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Social Studies. Joshua Lang, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Business. Patrick Liss, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in English. David Lopez, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement, Family and Consumer Sciences. Alyssa Makowski,
Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in Wellness. Juliette Marzo, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Science, in English, and in Mathematics. Taylor Matheos, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in English. Julia McHugh, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Science, in English, and in Physical Education. William Migliaccio, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Wellness. Ethan Morton, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Mathematics. Ipsitha Mupasani, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Business. Brian Rooney, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in Art. Patrick Sayers, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Technology. Jacob Scotto, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in World Language. In Music. Jacob Shine, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Mathematics. Kylie Smith, Grade 9, Overall Academic Performance, Meritorious Achievement. Elizabeth Squire, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Business, as well as Family and Consumer Science. Lily Stanley, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Science and Mathematics. Luke Staples, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Mathematics. Jesse Telasco, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Mathematics. Allison Thibodeau, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in Art. Trevor Thompson, Grade 10, Meritorious Achievement in World Language. Margaret Thrall, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Social Studies. Carol Ann Titus, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in Music. Benjamin Weber, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in Science. Jonathan Woodka, Grade 9, Meritorious Achievement in Science, Mathematics, and Music. Mara Woodka, Meritorious Achievement, Grade 11, in Art. And rounding out our category in Meritorious Achievement, Ryan Ziskin, Grade 11, Meritorious Achievement in Mathematics. Congratulations to all of our Meritorious Achievement recipients this evening. Congratulations for a job well done. Our next category of awards this evening are the Exemplary Awards. Exemplary awards recognize students who consistently demonstrate unusual or, or excellent achievement, intellectual curiosity, creativeness, and independent research and study. Each department this evening will be recognizing students in this category. Kicking it off for the art department this year, the exemplary awards in art are awarded to Madison Grillo, Chase Alexander, Jacqueline Thibodeau, and Rebecca Canfield. Congratulations. In our business department, the exemplary awards this evening go to Eleanor Hernsdorf, Kylie Coxon, and Kevin Harnois. Congratulations on your achievement from the business department. In Family and Consumer Sciences this evening, the Exemplary Award recipients are Catherine Gilmore and Brian Austin. Congratulations from the Family and Consumer Sciences Department. The Exemplary Awards in Technology this evening are recognizing the following students. Carolina Gentile, Liam Kramer, and Brianna Wallace. Sincere congratulations from our technology department. Moving on to the exemplary awards from the English department this evening. Our award recipients under this category for the English department are Chase Alexander, Lily Stanley, and Molly Laird. Warm congratulations from our English department. Our exemplary awards this evening in the Mathematics Department. Recognition goes to Alyssa Mokulski, Tyler Croninger, and Noah Croninger. Congratulations from the Mathematics Department. 
exemplary awards from the music department this evening. Recognition goes to Caroline Hall, Trevor Thompson, and Jesse Talasco. Congratulations from the music department. Exemplary awards in the physical education department this evening. Recognition goes to Jackson Elrod, Charles Atanese, and Haley Casca. Congratulations from the physical education department. Exemplary awards in the science department this evening. Recognition goes to Caroline Hall, Tyler Croninger, and Noah Croninger. Congratulations from the science department. Exemplary awards moving on to the social studies department. This evening, we recognize the following students. Cole Max, Tyler Croninger, and Pryor Watskin. Congratulations from the social studies department. And last but not least, our World Language Awards this evening, recognizing achievements to the following students. Grace Jennings, Ezra Holt, and Alec Jedimanoff. Congratulations from the World Language Department. Our next category of awards this evening is our Special Recognitions Awards. Starting it off this evening under the category of AP Capstone Seminar Awards, the following award recipients are recognized. Femka Jansen, in recognition for research and presentation. Jacob Scotto, in recognition for research and presentation. And Abigail Caruso, in recognition for presentation. Congratulations to our three AP Capstone Seminar Award recipients. The Clarkson University Achievement Award is given in recognition of outstanding leadership qualities and academic progress. A scholarship of $48,000 over four years is guaranteed to a student who is accepted and chooses to attend Clarkson University. This year, the Clarkson University Achievement Award goes to Alec Jedimanoff. Congratulations. The Clarkson University Leadership Award in recognition of outstanding leadership qualities and academic promise, a scholarship of $60,000 given over four years is guaranteed to a student who again is accepted and chooses to attend Clarkson University. This year, the award goes to Molly Laird. Congratulations, Molly. The Josh Simpson Infinity Planet Award, given to a junior who has demonstrated above average interest in both art and chemistry. The student recognizes that there is chemistry in art and art in chemistry, and that the knowledge of one may explain the beauty of the other. Josh Simpson, a contemporary New England glass artist, has made a gift of two glass infinity planets with the expectation that the recipient will keep one and hide the other somewhere in the world for someone to discover. This year, the Josh Simpson Infinity Planet Award goes to TJ Green. Congratulations, TJ. The Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute Medal is, given, is an award given to a student who has distinguished themselves in mathematics and science. A $30,000 per year merit scholarship is guaranteed for four years for each medalist who is accepted and chooses to enroll at RPI. This year, the recipient is Pryor Waskin. Congratulations, Pryor. The Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Academy, funded in 1958, Hobie's mission is to inspire and develop our global community of youth and volunteers to a life dedicated to leadership, service, and innovation. This year's Grandview Memorial High School representative attending the Hobie Leadership Conference is Jacob Shine. The Outstanding High School Accounting Student Award presented by the Connecticut Society of Certified Public Accountants in recognition of academic excellence in accounting. This year, our recipients are Andrew Giuliano, and Joshua Sealander. Congratulations. 
The President's Education Awards Program recognizes students who have shown outstanding educational growth and improvement, commitment, or intellectual development in their academic subjects this year. This year's recipients are Jack Satilli, Ethan Pagliero, and Amber Tomasino. Congratulations to our award recipients. This concludes our special recognition award recipients category. Congratulations on your deserving recognition. And now I would like to welcome our athletic director, Mr. Brian Maltesi, to the podium for our athletic awards. Thank you. Good evening, GMHS underclassmen, families, and friends. My name is Brian Maltesi, athletic director at Granby Memorial High School. I am here to present the seven letter athletic awards to the varsity athletes who have obtained seven varsity letters in their athletic careers at GMHS. This year's recipients are Catherine Benoit, Benjamin Gachi, David Hitchner, and Natalie Scanlon. Congratulations on this great accomplishment. Thank you, Mr. Maltesi. And now our principal, Mike Dunn, will round out our evening of underclassmen awards with the Connecticut Association of Board of Education Awards, our Core Values Awards, and the Principal's Cup. Mr. Dunn. The Connecticut Association of Boards of Education Award was presented by Board of Education Chairperson Sarah Thrall during a Board of Education meeting earlier this month. This was to recognize a recipient for distinguished leadership in school activities and daily life. And this year it was proudly presented to Jacob Scotto. Congratulations, Jacob. Our Core Values Awards are presented to students whose staff have recognized for demonstrating our core values of curiosity, perseverance, integrity, respect, and involvement. This year, we are pleased and proud to present our Core Values Awards to the following students. Isaac Abrahamson, Katrina Anderson, Alexa Bajek, Audrey Bennett, Carly DiMartino, Emma Hansen, Trevor Hazard, Cassidy Kittleson, Taylor Matheos, Hayden Mueller, Ryan Pelletier, Gage Robertson, Trevor Thompson, and Brianna Wallace. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Before I announce our final award of the evening, which is our Principal's Cup, I would like to take this opportunity to extend our thanks once again to each and every one of you for all that you have done this year through so many different challenging circumstances. And a special thanks to Mrs. Greeny, Dr. Calcasola, and Mrs. Caruso for all their hard work in putting these award celebrations together. And as well to all of our wonderful secretarial, technology, and custodial staff for their care and hard work behind the scenes each and every day. The Principal's Cup is given to an underclassman who exemplifies excellence as a powerful thinker, effective collaborator, and compassionate contributor and who demonstrates our GMHS core values of curiosity, perseverance, integrity, involvement, and respect. While I am always so proud because so many Granby Bears represent these values every day, I'm especially proud to close tonight's ceremony by recognizing an individual who has earned the respect and affection of her peers and teachers for her wide-ranging involvement as a leader and contributor, both inside and outside of the classroom. This kind-hearted, sincere, and exceptional young lady is a contributor on our girls' soccer team and co-captain of girls' basketball, a member of our Young Educator Society and Best Buddies Clubs, and president of the class of 2022 for the past three years. She also has followed her own commitment to address food insecurity and worked with staff to create a startup called Food for Thought. Her initiative to supply nutritious snacks. But what makes this humble, kind, and generous Granby Bear special is that she does all of this and more with her ever-present smile. 
She has been called by some teachers who haven't even had her in class, quote, my favorite student I've never taught, unquote. It is with great pride that I bestow the 2021 Underclassmen Principals Cup to Maeve Dingley. Congratulations, Maeve.